Greetings and salutations, I'm Kev. Welcome to this new Let's Play of Star Control Origins. Now this is a uh, reboot of the Star Control franchise, which, which was a big thing some 20-25 years ago. And I have very fond memories of playing Star Control 2 especially. which You basically explore the whole universe, met wonderful new aliens like the Zoktotpik and the um, Shpati. And uh, I forget what, what they were all called, but they were, it was just a game ludicrously packed with humor. And that's kind of why I loved the game back then. Now, I don't know anything about Star Control Origins other than the fact that it is a reboot. It's not a remake, so it's a completely new take on the franchise. But I suspect we'll still see a heck of a lot of the same kind of things. Like, I won't, just by hovering over the tooltips here, on the uh, very little bits, on the menu, I can, you can kind of tell that they have added a fair bit of humor to the game already. So I have a, a good feelings of what, what we're going to be facing in the game itself. But again, this is going to be a pretty much a blind let's play. I've not followed the development of this game. I have no idea what to expect. So yeah, let's see what see what the game is like, shall we? But at least I think that it's going to keep the elements from Star Control 2, basically. Exploration, battles, encountering animal, uh, animals, <laughs> encountering aliens. Animals too, probably, for all I know. Um, but there might not be that much of a distinction between those two. If they used some of the Star Control 2 aliens as templates. Oh, who knows. But then again, I'll try not to harp too much about Star Control 2. <laughs> because, again, this game isn't it. It's just a reboot of the franchise. So, in theory, it shouldn't share anything other than its name. We'll find out eventually. Though it seems to take a bit while to load, then again, who knows. Like the music, though. Explore the universe, come on. <laughs> Perhaps it has to create the entire universe. Oh, there we go. We believe this is an alien transmission. And this is originating from where exactly? It's local. Triton. Recall the captain. Tell him that he's needed. He's still on administrative leave from the incident. That no longer matters. He's the only one qualified to command the prototype Vindicator. <laughs> okay, top secret. Oh my goodness. And look at this little interface here. Oh my goodness. Captain Kev. Oh, I can rename the ship. Hmm. US YouTube. Uh, yeah, we're gonna have normal difficulty. Anyways, there we go. To Captain Keb from Star Con Control Command. Uh, re reactivation. Captain Keb, you have been recalled to duty. Please report to the U to the the. <laughs> okay. I'm surprised I missed this one. To the the US YouTube for a high priority mission. Commander Skyla will be waiting for your arrival. Anyways, this whole interface. I mean, look at this. This is, this is kind of... It's a 2088. This looks like more like 1988 from, from the look of the desktop, but still. Anyways. To boldly go. And so forth. Party ship. Real party. The last of the crew and supplies should be coming over to you shortly, Captain. 
Time to get started. Star Control is ordering you to travel to Triton and investigate the alien radio signal that's originating there. Okay, and... Right, so we gotten some crew members, we gotten the first officer, I assume that's you. Um, and then we get the conversation options. Excellent. We'll start at, the bottom, uh, start at the top, I suppose. It's just a series of regular pulses at 1.42 gigahertz. That's the hydrogen line, in case you've forgotten your radio astronomy. Some very excitable men in glasses are pretty sure if aliens ever try contacting us, they'll do it on that frequency. They are substantially less certain why aliens might be on one of Neptune's moons, though. Mm -hmm. Scan its surface from orbit. If you find the signal, send one of your ship's landers down to the surface to examine it further. If it is an alien, you are ordered to not die and tell us right away. <laughs> okay. Uh, but all the way it's safe to die? Uh, let him to make contact with the alien. If you believe it's safe to do so, yes. Just please be careful, Captain. Mm -hmm. uh, da -da 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 -da. It's just a series of regular pulses at 1.42 gigahertz. That's the hydrogen line, oh, okay. in case you've forgotten your race. Some very excitable, they are substantially less certain why aliens might be on one. Scan its surface for more. If it is an alien, you are ordered to not die and tell us right away. Just so I can check that option. Sure. You die as much as you want, Captain. <laughs> Just send the ship back. Uh, okay. I'm not important the ship is, anyways. Not entirely. Their departure is the whole reason we have a star control in the first place. Your mission to Triton takes priority, but if you do discover anything concerning the Lexites, you should tell us right away. The Lexites? Okay. Who are the Lexites? Uh, do we know why the Lexites left? We still have no idea. For post-humans, or whatever they call themselves, they sure didn't talk about themselves as much as us original versions like to. We've combed over their facility on the moon, hoping to find some hints, but haven't found anything. They never seemed to be upset with us, or expressed any great unhappiness with their situation on Earth. Which is maybe surprising, considering some of the abuse they took. My theory? They got bored with us. Bored with human affairs. Maybe bored of our smell. Okay, so the post-humans, huh? Okay, fine. Uh, do we know where they left? Where they After went? they left Earth in 2085, we know they set up on the moon for a short while, but that was just a staging area. So they're out there somewhere. Mm-hmm. All the next sites dangerous. Well, they're essentially human, so yes. <laughs> but even during the chaos of their exodus, when they were stealing our launch craft, they went to great lengths to avoid harming anyone. Still, they obviously have access to technology we've never even contemplated. Uh huh. If you do run into them, be careful, Captain. Sure we will, but you're not permitted to die, right? So anyways, that's enough about the next sites. Sure, Captain. Mm-hmm, so that's that. Okay, there we go. You've already forgotten how to captain a starship, Captain? That's not a good sign. <laughs> what do you want to know? Oh boy, um, how do I fly my ship? You use your thrusters to fly forward and steer. Knowing your fondness of old computers, you probably have configured your maneuvering thrusters to be the left and right cursor keys, and thrust will be the up key. Braking maneuvers typically require you to turn the entire ship around and thrust in the opposite direction. That's the basics, at least. If you want to refresh your combat maneuvering skills, you can visit the training facility at Ceres as well. This is a good sign. So that means they've kept the combat design, I think, from Star Control 2. Lovely. Um, how do I visit planets? Your ship's computer will automatically put the ship into a safe orbit of any planet in the solar system once you get close enough to it. Scanning the planet from orbit will reveal items and resources of interest, as well as potential landing zones you can send your landing craft to. Okay, how do I upgrade my ship then? We have limited resources here right now, Captain. We used up a lot rushing the construction of that vessel. If you find raw materials on any worlds in the system, you can return with them here. We'll calculate what they're worth and present this to you as resource units, or RU. Mm -hmm. You can use RU to purchase new components for your ship. Okie dokie, that's all I suppose, that's it. 
Hope that helps, Captain. Sure it does. Sure it does. Anyways, I guess we'll get started. And uh, what are the buttons over there then? Repeat. You can use RU to purge. Hope that helps, Captain. Okay, just a repeat of dialogue, and I assume that's the menu over there. That's the whole log of everything she's been saying. Lovely. Okay, excellent. Now I know how this works. It's a conversation window. Window over it. Fine. Okay, I'll get started. Star Control has accelerated the construction of our new modular deep solar system vessel specifically for this mission. It's the fastest, most expensive ship humanity has ever made, Captain. Try not to lose it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'll try to try. It's also equipped with our latest resource collection landers, which I would encourage you to make heavy use of. We used up a lot of materials to make that thing. If we want to make any more Vindicator class vessels, we're going to need you to collect the resources to do it. Looks like you've got everything stowed away now, Captain. You're all set. Good luck, and please hurry. Uh huh. There are a lot of people down on Earth anxious to find out what's going on. Hmm, close communications channel. Oh, this looks eerily familiar to be honest. Anyways, we are in Sol, that I assume is for the space thing. What's that question mark? Oh! Oh my goodness. That's a lot of information here. But that's fine, we'll, we'll get to those things as we go along. Anyways, manifest. Just so we can see what the hell is on board the ship. Two landers. Uh, population, and uh, that was fuel, wasn't it? Yeah, fuel. Resource units. The US YouTube. It's not the best ship in the galaxy, but it's the one we got. <laughs> uh, no cargo right now. That's fine. Fleet status. Uh, hawking thrusters. First up, press carry. Uh, huh. Captain Snog. Star Control has ordered us to investigate a signal orig originating from the surface of Triton. You should head there right away. Objective, yeah, that's the same thing. Sector map, oh, good god. Oh, this sets me back. A lot. You know, this is... Well, I think it's larger than the Star Control 2 map. But it's the same type of basic system where all the stars are dotted on a 2D map like this. Anyways. I mean, that's for the future, I guess. Well, that was the last menu, right? Vector map, yeah. That's. Uh, Okie dokie. Uh, I assume we can't really touch that one. So I assume we. Oh, yeah! It used the same systems as, um, as the earlier games. Basic Newtonian thruster things. Can I uh, power slide? I cannot. But I can thrust and go out in the out in the galaxy. Anyways, we need to find Triton. Uh, let's see. There's uh, there's Venus. There's Mercury. It's the orbit of Mars. That's the orbit of uh, Saturn. So that's the orbit of well, that's the orbit of Jupiter. I mean, and there's Saturn. Triton should be over here, right? Wait a second, uh, or is Triton on... Triton is on Neptune, never mind, so that's gonna be... Uh, which one's further out? Uranus or Neptune? Neptune. Uh, we'll coast onwards and see if we can find a planet. No, I'm not going to Saturn. I need to find Neptune. Oh, oh, that's what the arrow there is, I assume. Oh? Wait a second, there are nine rings. Oh, there's Triton, yeah. You count... Pluto? Or um, is this just a... Let's see now, if we can identify everything. There's Jupiter. Saturn. That has to be Neptune. But... There are two here. One of these has to be Uranus, but which is the other one? Have they added Pluto after all? 
Oh, well. anyways, we have our destination over there. That's what the arrow was. The top of the screen. And I are dumb, so I didn't realize that. Anyways. Let's coast up there and see what we find. Serious training base, that's fine. We're not gonna go there. We're gonna go straight for Triton. Uh, I assume it's gonna zoom in as we get closer. Let's crash with the planet. Whee! Power slide. There we go. Scanning. Captain, we've located the source of the radio signal. It looks like there's a crashed ship down there. We should take a lander down to investigate. Mm hmm. This is. What? The Vinologus? Well, we are Triton. We are two landers. Vinologus. What does that mean? No idea. Frozen planet, anyway. Ready to launch, I suppose. Again, we're doing, doing this as a blind let's play, so who knows what the hell we're, how we're gonna mess up things. Oh my goodness. Hard landing. Or not. Anyways, to steer. ADQ, yeah, straight, that's fine. Thrust, W, SS reverse. Boost and exit. That's lovely, so we just zoom around. And this is what? Kaiser? Oh! <laughs> well, that's one way of jumping up, I suppose. Boom! Boom! Oh! Uh, there's something here. Resource ah. collected. Press tab to view your inventory and fleet status screen. Ah, okay. So let's collect more stuffs. I'm sure we can use those resources for something. And I assume every little arrow we see indicates some sort of resource. Doesn't seem to be anything dangerous down here, so we might as well pick up everything we can. Uh, resources remaining. Quite a few bits and pieces, actually. Um. Come on! Woom! Power slide. Strafe. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it uses basically the same controls as Star Control. As the start controls I'm familiar with. Oh, we are full on cargo space, right? Yeah. Um, so how do I uh, go up again? Esk? Uh huh, because I just want to unload. Which I hope I just did. Uh. Uh, oh, oh, okay. So we all just uh, filled up the entire ship, not just a local lander. Okay. Uh, I assume. I don't know. Back down, I guess. But I thought I could go back to the top ship and just drop off things, which I apparently have. Okay. Right, let's test that, see if we can find some more. Ooh, fancy light. And for the dark side of the moon. Yeah, okay, so we w did deposit all the stuff we head up, headed up side. That's fine, then. so we can actually get them more, but then we can't store it in the ship top side. Which is kind of weird then. Because that means we can store more resources in the lander ship than we can in our actual spaceship. Oh, well, anyways. Alien ship. Hmm, let's investigate. I'm sure they're friendly, right? You actually came! Uh-huh. I can't tell you how sweaty we are to see you. Uh, okay. <laughs> How sweaty we are. I, I think our uh, translation software might have a few bugs. Who are you? Your friends? Maybe? 
<laughs> I am Chief Viscosity Officer Wimdu of the Tyrom. Uh huh. You think it's nice to meet me? That's a wonderful change from the usual disgust and contempt we receive when meeting new species. <laughs> uh, okay. It's a funny story. You'll like it. Uh -huh. It starts with these guys called the Scribe. They're the ones who shot us down. They're kind of our friends. <laughs> okay. Um... They hate us. <laughs> Not great friends, really. More accurately, they are our masters and the rulers of a cruel empire that we are forced to serve. Mm hmm. Okay, what are you doing here then? We're actually trying to protect you from the scribe. We began receiving your radio transmissions about 50 years ago. You're a fascinating species. And because we knew the scribe would destroy you if they found you, we've been keeping you a secret from them. Ooh. At least we were. Until a few months ago. The scribe had evidently received traces of your radio broadcasts themselves. They dropped some pretty terrifying hints that they were looking for you. We were on our way here to stall them, which we did. By getting shot down by them. <laughs> Hence the distress call. Uh-huh. Um, okay. Uh, let's go with option two. We better get you back to Earth. You probably should. The Scribe are looking for you in this area of space. They don't know exactly where you are, but they will find you. Not a lot of humans are going to survive that process. Uh-oh. The good news is, we can help you. If you help us first. Uh-huh. Most of our systems were squished when we dropped out of hyperspace. Yeah, that happens. Our hyperwave radio was one of them. Which is why we had to call for help the old-fashioned way. Mm-hmm. Also, half of our entire ship fell off. Yeah, that'll do it. Now, we might actually be able to repair all that damage. But we will definitely need that other half of our spaceship back. <laughs> um... Uh, okay, you can fix half your we ship. We can? I don't want to bore you with all the little technical details. Simply put, we are really good at our jobs here. <laughs> uh, okay, um, you look like you're incredibly good at your jobs. Thanks! <laughs> Where did the other half of your ship go? It went down on a planet somewhere in your solar system. I'm not sure where precisely. Uh -huh. All planets look the same when you're crying. <laughs> so if I had to guess, I'd say it was around one of your larger, bluer worlds. Okay. Also, we lost a couple of hyperdrive modules. We'll definitely need those if we want to not starve to death far from home. <laughs> okay. Those definitely went down somewhere in your inner solar system. I know this is a lot to ask. But finding all of this shouldn't be a problem for a ship with both its halves. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, uh, where do we want to go? Uh, before we help, we had some questions. You want to learn more about us? I have never been moister. What do you want to know, best friend? Okay, um... Uh, so you've been spying on us. Spying makes it sound so creepy. I mean, it is creepy. <laughs> it just doesn't have to sound that way. Uh-huh. We prefer to call it potential friend oversight. Okay. <laughs> um... <laughs> Were you the ones doing the abductions with the probing? No, that was you. <laughs> we just watched. 
Some humans went into the woods and came out walking funny. And they made all that up as an excuse. <laughs> we never had anything to do with that. No matter how much we wanted to talk to you. <laughs> and hug you and hold you and cuddle you. Um. Until you could travel the stars for yourselves. It was safest if we just left you alone. Yeah, I think that was wise. Anyways, um, why are you spying on us? The Scribe have sort of left us in charge of this part of their empire. Though not in a way which gives us any actual authority. But that is how we found you about 50 years ago. Mm -hmm. We thought about contacting you a lot. Oh. But experience has taught us that it's wise not to interfere with aliens before they're ready. Mostly, we just watched your television shows. Uh oh. You're a lot shorter in person. Did you know that? <laughs> um, something else, maybe? Of Let's course. See. Let's see. Da -da -da -da. Tell us more about these scribe. They're the dominant species in this part of the galaxy. Or at least the part of the galaxy we know about. When we first reached the stars, it was the scribe that met us and forcefully included us into their empire. Uh -huh. Um. <laughs> no offense, but why would they let you slugs in, but not us? We joined the empire about 600 years ago. The scribe have changed a lot since then. These days, they're really more into exterminating new species they encounter. <laughs> okay. Um. Mm, I'm sure they'll understand our potential once we get to once they get to know us. No doubt. Which is why they will definitely kill you all first. <laughs> oh my. Um. I didn't just see the other up from that one. We joined the Empire about. 600 years the scribe have changed these days they're really more into exterminating new species they encounter you don't think we could beat them in a fight no no you can't <laughs> as surly as humans are you are nothing next to the scribe their surliness technology is thousands of years more advanced than yours you guys don't even know about hyperspace you haven't a hope fighting them if they find you. Well then, what's hyperspace? Oh, it's just the best thing ever. It's how we travel between the stars. Without hyperspace, it would take you hundreds of years to get to the closest star. Based on your technological development so far, you humans are probably still a hundred or so years away from building your own hyperdrive. Mm-hmm. Uh, anyways, let's see... How are you protecting us from them? Because we knew the scribe would wipe you out if they found you. We've often kept the ship in the area to steer them away if they came by. Don't even bother checking out that yellow star, we'd say. Not a great plan, I realize, as I say it out loud. <laughs> but it was never an issue. They actually don't care that much uh, what happens in this neighborhood. Until just recently, anyways. Uh, and why are you protecting us? Entirely unselfish reasons, you could be sure of that. Honestly, once we started watching your shows and writing fan fiction for your shows, <laughs> and then uh, taking that fan fiction a bit too far for your shows... We could hardly just sit back and do nothing. We've been saved by fanfiction, my goodness me. Okay. <laughs> That's enough. I'll yeah, describe. we don't much like talking about them either. Uh-huh. Um... Okay, what did you need us to do again? Part of our ship fell off. It must have landed somewhere else in this system. Mm -hmm. Also, we lost our hyperdrive modules. They'll be around here, too. I know, it's a lot. So, thanks in advance? Mm-hmm. 
Uh, and what help were you going to offer us in exchange for that? The biggest help I can offer is this. We'll be your friends. And not just me and my crew. All Taiwan everywhere. Okay. We'll share technology and explain how the galaxy works. And how to avoid getting killed by the scribe. Sounds useful. We've been not getting killed by the scribe for a while now. Mm, sounds about right. Not that I'm bragging. <laughs> okay, I'm bragging a little. <laughs> Best laugh ever. Anyways, that should be enough questions, right? So, will you help? Hmm. I suppose we'll just go there. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I assume that they, we need to do this in order to advance the whole plot. You can't leave the solar system otherwise. So sure, we'll help you, yes. Great! We'll give you so many hugs if you manage to succeed. Yeah, I think we'll pass on the hugs. Anyways, um, sounds good. We'll get to it. Great! Uh-huh. And uh, I think I'm going to make, make a cut out there. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next episode.